Apple just gave Samsung a big surprise. What's up guys, we're back with the latest news. As Apple is planning its biggest iPhone upgrade with the iPhone 14 series, there's something else in the works as well that could definitely be a big issue for Samsung. Year after year, Apple proved themselves as the top leader by constantly topping the charts with the most sales with the recent flagship iPhones. To make their sales even more strong, they're about to bring their biggest push yet. According to the report from Bloomberg, Apple is developing a hardware subscription service that would allow customers to upgrade to the latest iPhone without even paying the full price. Yes, with this new hardware subscription, customers would have to pay a monthly fee which will then give them the access to a device that they're interested in. This will be a perfect option for those customers who don't have the money to buy the iPhone right up front so they can just pay for the subscription and potentially get that phone. This will make the process of buying an iPhone or an iPad similar to how you can just subscribe to iCloud storage or pay for Apple Music subscription. Users will be able to do this with their Apple ID within the App Store account. It is expected that Apple could implement this by the end of 2022 or it might be delayed till 2023. Considering how Apple sales are very strong already, this move will make them even more dominant. Samsung is definitely not ready for this. They usually have some limited time pre-order gifts or you can just adjust your old flashes but still you have to pay a decent amount for the latest flagship upgrade. This easy to buy iPhone move could be even bigger especially with the iPhone 14 right around the corner. According to the latest news coming from the most trusted Apple source out there Ming-Chi Ko, the iPhone 14 is pretty much confirmed to have a 48 megapixel camera upgrade. Because of this new 48 megapixel sensor, the camera bump is larger than the previous generation generation, a whopping 25-35% to 35 increase in the sensor size compared to the previous generation. This will bring some huge upgrade to the low light video and photo performance on the upcoming iPhone 14 series. And don't forget the last time Apple jumped the megapixels, we got the 4K video so this time there's a chance that we might actually get 8K video performance on the upcoming iPhone 14 Pro series. Again, it's all being handled by the brand new upcoming Apple A16 Pro chip. We could legit see some some monumental leaps in terms of camera performance on the upcoming iPhone 14 Pro lineup. We might even see a live announcement of the iPhone this time around like Apple used to do back in the days. It's rumored that Apple could bring WWDC event in front of a live audience so if they could actually do that successfully then we could see the iPhone announcement back with a proper live audience. So that's all the latest news. Apple is looking to bring their sales games to the next level and if they implement it just in time for the iPhone 14 series i think it's gonna bring even more revenue to the table let me know what you think in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys later peace out